My name is Thomas Ömer and I live in Berlin and I write for the theatrical journal Theater Heute and also work for German TV uh, exclusively about theater affairs. In May I happened to go to Moscow for the opening of the Chekhov Festival by the renowned German director Frank Kastorf with three sisters. But it was not only three sisters, it was also a collage with uh, Chekhov's tale or story, uh, the, Musiki, peasants. The, the Peasants. The peasants. Yeah. And uh, uh, out of that I saw like a cultural clash in, in theater between this uh, German director's uh, view on Chekhov uh, as a grotesque, as a, as a master of the social grotesque and a, also as a sort of muckraker and the uh, Moscow audience that was still expecting much of their traditional three sisters in the salon and the uh, officers and traditional apparel and the sentimental love stories and so on. So I was eyewitnessing this wonderful clash and I'm still taken by it and I would say I mean if you get to see something on the internet perhaps or if you get to read reviews and articles I just follow that I could be very very interesting as one of the uh, most interesting recent German Russian theatrical affairs also as I came to Moscow it happened to me after 23 years I had not been exposed to that city and it has changed in a tremendous way and I found out something very special about traffic that <laughs> struck me uh, like it, and it came to me as a paradox on one hand when you are in a car for one yeah, you are uh, stalled uh, you are captured in, in a car nothing moves anymore uh, you are in gridlock as Americans say and uh, uh, but the phenomenon is once you are out the car yeah, and run across one of these big avenues in Moscow you may get hit by a car passing by, rushing by, because all of a sudden once you are out of the car other cars seem to be able to rush <laughs> <laughs> and this paradox between the gridlock yeah, and the speeding car, that seems to be one of the dynamics of today's Moscow. <laughs> Thank you so much. Uh, I want to ask you about, um, you said that one of the ways you keep up with uh, Russian culture is through uh, reading the newspaper. And apparently a lot of uh, important Russian writers write for German newspapers. I'd like to hear some more about that. Yes. Well, well one of the major sources, not so much as news and information is concerned, uh, but rather like the mental development, the intellectual development in Russia are essays and articles contributed to major German newspapers by the major uh, Russian writers. I mean, for me, it has become uh, really a, a decisive source of information when Viktor Yorofey, for example, writes something, or uh, Vladimir Sorokin, uh, makes comments on how Russian society is about to change. Sometimes it is really in the form of a prediction for the near future, but sometimes it is also, uh, you know, giving an analysis of what has just happened. I mean, that of course goes back to a long tradition of Russian literature, as most of 19th century masters also were, uh, you know, vivid journalists of their time. So this goes on, and if it is not going on in Russian papers, it goes on with Russian writers and German papers, and that has become an enormous, uh, that plays an enormous role in, in, in understanding today's Russia from a German point of view.